Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. This is Bharat. We are looking into PR Max, a series of lectures, friends. And this is the Heights and Distances Class 4 and this is the last class for Heights and Distances. Here in Model 7, we have completed 6 models and in Model 7, we have come up with another shortcut. This shortcut's name is Complementary Angles. Complementary angles. What is complementary angle? If there are two angles A and B and the sum of these two angles is equals to 90 degrees, then it is called complementary angles. We have also supplementary angle when the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees that is supplementary angles. But here this shortcut is only for complementary angles friends. Let us see how the shortcut works. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance x and y from the foot of the tower and comp are complementary. Or complementary friends. See friends, the angle of elevation of the top of this is the top. This is the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower from two points. Suppose this is the first point and this is the second point, friends first point and second point the angle of elevation is theta and this is 90 minus theta because they have said that angle of sum of uh, these angle of elevations are complementary complementary in the sense we if we add these both angles we have to get 90 degrees theta plus theta minus 90 we get 90 degrees friends and the distance from the foot of the tower is x and other point is of y friends okay then we have to find the height of the tower we have to find the height of the tower friends we all know if we want to find the height of the tower let us use our basic formula that is base base is equals to h into cot theta and this base is h into cot 90 minus theta here the uh, funda is the height is equal for these two triangles friends suppose if we take base x this is base x for base x the formula is given by h into cot theta h into cot theta friends and for base y and for base y it is given by h into cot 90 minus theta h into cot 90 minus theta for this formula you have to uh, to know how the, this formula works you have to see my first video friends okay this is we can write cot 90 minus theta as tan theta friends tan theta this is expression 2 by multiplying this expression 1 and expression 2 we get we we multiply the left hand side that is x and y x into y is equals to we and we multiply the right hand side h cot theta into h tan theta h cot theta into h tan theta we know cot theta into tan theta is 1 we get h square friends so height is given by h height is given by root over x into y friends so the height is given by the just multiply the distance between the first point to the foot of the tower and the length between the second point to the foot of the tower friends that's the shortcut friends this shortcut is made as a problem let us see a problem the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from two points there is a top of a tower and there are two points and the distance are 36 meters and 64 meters from the base in the same straight line with it or complementary if this is theta this is 90 minus theta we have to find the height of the tower no need to draw this diagram friends just read the question distance is given 
x distance is given y distance is given and these are complementary this is the key complementary angles this is the key friends complementary angles is the key and what is the height of the tower h is given by root over x into y that is root over 36 into 64 we get root uh, root no need of root 6 into 8 6 8 is a 48 friends that's the answer another question friends p and q are two points observed from the top of a building 10 root 3 meters high there is a building 10 root 3 meters high and p and q are two points friends p and q are two points which are observed from this height and the angle of depressions of the points are complementary in nature complementary friends the angles are not at all given just they have said it is complementary and they have said that the, the distance between p and q is uh, 20 uh, meters 20 meters then the distance of p from they are asking what is the distance between p to the foot of the building friends we have to find this p so we have complementary angles okay one 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 condition is satisfied and we have only one height that is 10 root 3 meters high all we know that 10 root 3 meters high that is h is equals to root over x into y x is the distance from the first point to the foot of the tower that is p here x is p and here y is nothing but we can say this is a q friends consider this q's length as some a q's length as a then the p length become 220 plus a friends 20 plus a is p's length and q's length is a friends so what we are getting we are getting 20 plus a that is p's length into q's length that is a squaring on both sides we get 100 into 3 is equals to 20 plus a into a friends so from here we can get 300 is equals to 20 a plus a square or a square plus 20 a minus a 300 friends 30 into 10 a plus 30 into a minus 10 is equals to 0 friends from this we can get the expression from this we can get a is equals to 10 meters anyhow this will get a is equal to minus 30 distance will not be in minus so a is equals to 10 meters if a is equals to 10 meters then the distance between the point p from the foot of the tower is 20 plus 10 that is 20 plus 10 that is equals to 30 meters 30 meters friends see if i by using the formula that is h is h square is equals to x y or h equal to root x y how we can solve the complementary problems friends hello friends we will see now model 8 a reflection problem this uh, this model's name is a reflection problem usually this model uh, usually comes in ntpc tier 2 and ssc tier 2 friends uh, i don't know whether we can expect uh, this kind of model in rrb je because je is of only level 11 and level 2 questions friends this is of level 3 question let us learn this it's always better to learn an extra level so that the uh, questions will be easier and you will get familiar with this models friends see here i will solve it in a very easy manner the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point 60 meters above a lake there is a, a lake friends there is a lake and from there a uh, 60 meters above the lake 60 meters above the lake uh, uh, there is a cloud here and the elevation of the cloud is 
a 30 degrees friends the elevation of the cloud is a 30 degrees are you getting friends the elevation of the cloud is a 30 degrees and the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud here you can see see friends the reflection will be like uh, if the distance from here to here is h then the reflection is also will be at the depth of uh, h meters friends will be also at the depth of h meters okay friends are you getting are you getting friends from the lake what is the height of the cloud in the same way the reflection will be the same at the same depth friends okay from that from up uh, from that top of that 60 meters high he is looking at the reflection and this is of a 60 degrees depression friends we have to find the height of the cloud we have to find the h friends okay as of now if we project this 60 meters height here this is h totally this is h but from up to here we know that it is a 60 meters high friends and this becomes this becomes h minus 60 meters this length becomes h minus c friends this is 60 meters and this length becomes h minus 60 meters am i right friends from h we are removing 60 from for this triangle the height that is this height becomes h plus 60 that is h plus 60 meters friends here i am applying our favorite shortcut that is 30 60 shortcut the base is same 30 here there is 30 and here there is 60 if there is 30 opposite that it will be the length will be of one part if the 60 degrees is there the opposite length will be of three parts 30 60 1 is to 3 ratio that is simply i will be solving h minus 60 by h plus 60 is equals to 1 is to 3 ratio friends by solving this we get h is equals to 120 meters friends that's all very very easy friends by using our trick are you getting friends here the only funda is that if the lake the surface of the lake is here if the any bird or cloud is here whatever may be the length the height is the it makes the same depth it makes for the reflection friends that's that science principle you should know friends from there we will develop the uh, triangle 30 degrees and 60 degrees from there we get the answer friends hello friends we will see the another model model 9 that is uh, this shortcut name is a resistance in parallel friends of course the model uh, heights and distances is nowhere compared with the i mean nowhere connection with the resistance but the formula we can remember very easily by using by remembering that it is a resistance in parallel see friends the question is uh, something like uh, there is a pole which is of h1 height and there is another pole which is of h2 height and the angle of elevations are uh, some theta and alpha okay friends the distance between them is uh, the base this is the base and what we have to find is we will be given with uh, h1 and h2 no matter what may be the thetas and alphas angle of elevations we have to find the joining point the line joining these two points and the ground friends the length between the this point from the ground friends we have to find this height how we will find find this height this is simple friends 
if there are two resistors which are connected in parallel then the equivalent resistance is given by r is equals to r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 friends if there are two resistors which are connected in parallel and the equivalent resistance is given by this resistance equivalent resistance is given by r1 plus r r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 the same formula here we will be applying this resultant height the the height between the the joining point from the ground is given by h1 into h2 by h1 plus h2 or we can write it as 1 by h is equals to 1 by h1 plus 1 by h2 friends this is the formula friends if the heights are 4 meters and 8 meters we can get the if this is 8 meters and this is of 4 meters we can get the height h is equals to 4 into 8 by 4 plus 8 that is 12 and 4 8s are that oh, sorry 4 plus 8 is yes 8 is 12 4 3s are that is 8 by 3 meters friends this height becomes 8 by uh, 3 meters okay friends from with this uh, model uh, i was uh, we will be done we will be done with the heights and distances problem friends from uh, next video we have to go through the uh, triangle uh, trigonometry from next video we are looking into trigonometry friends for the problems which I have taught till now in four classes of heights and distances you can download them in uh, the pdf which is the link which is given in the description box and this is the pdf of pure max friends here we have covered heights and distances and uh, and also the trigonometry concepts and formulas and all the problems of trigonometry friends and other concepts and formulas of progressions algebra like linear equations graphs lines and angles triangles quadrilateral circles and menstruations friends so you can download from here from the link which is given in the description box from next video we are going to take up trigonometry problems friends here uh, we have set of formulas results and most important concepts that you have to study before looking into the next video because uh, i am not starting it from the uh, beginning friends it takes more more time friends so i have given in a illustrative manner in the pdf uh, which you can find in the description box in this pdf i have explained how the trigonometry functions are developed and in which quadrant it was positive and what are the funda to remember them and also the values table and some of the results of the triplets that is the uh, site of the uh, right angle a uh, triangle friends and some of the uh, tricks friends that is uh, if you can you can go through this uh, if, if the two sides of the right angle triangle or x square minus y square and 2x square what is the other side of the uh, triangle the, these kind of uh, these kind of nodes and which may which are potential to come in the exam directly are given in this uh, pdf friends so, so i have covered extensively and i have not left any problem and have uh, there is no loophole of to lose any formula friends so i have covered in an extensive manner for your sake friends so please feel free to download the pdfs and study the concept uh, uh, the formulas at the index section clearly friends then watch the uh, next video thank you friends take care and see you till the next video friends